behind quite a mess here. We will show you the aftermath coming up live. And good morning, I'm Lena Bovian live here in Yukaipa where we have this washed out road. Take a look, lots of mud and debris plus flooding here. We'll show you the video, that's next. Good Monday morning, I'm Jessica Holmes. Another natural phenomenon happened during that historic storm, Tropical Storm Hillary, an earthquake. We'll have details on all of that ahead. All right, good morning, everybody. Still some scattered showers across uh, Southern California, the remnants of uh, what was Tropical Storm Hillary as she hit here in the Southland. Uh, not major winds unless you were in the deserts or in the uh, mountain areas in the foothills of the mountains. The main story was lots of rain, and we got quite a bit of it, that's for sure, and lots of uh, streets and uh, off-ramps uh, still flooded. Morongo Casino camera shaking around a little bit, still breezy out there. 72 coastal, downtown Los Angeles, 80, San Fernando Valley, 81. 82 for the high desert, 80 inland Empire, Orange County, inland 77, with still some clouds, showers, and the possibility of some thunderstorms, but that's all trending and leading towards clearing skies. Ginger with traffic. Yeah, what a relief. But even that camera, wow, you see it's starting to shake just a little bit. We have a pretty good camera as well to show you the conditions. If your plans take you to points slightly farther to the north of what we've been looking at for, you know, time, we've been tracking that drive heading to areas of the LA Basin. But this camera looks right here at Fraser Mountain Park Road. I don't remember the last time we looked at this camera in the summer months because you were usually concerned with it during the winter time when they close, you know, portions of the Grapevine and the 5 Freeway. This morning you see it, roads are starting to dry out. 101 North at Universal Studios Boulevard, that right lane still blocked. It's really because of all the dirt that somehow is in the roadway. That north is crowded. South Bend side starting to get busy because of some other activity from earlier, right? And 10 East Bend side at Cedar still only squeezing by in that far left lane. And at times, you'll have to hug a little bit into the center medium because of all the dirt that's still in lanes. That big rig ended up toppling over. I think it's been uprighted, but then there's a lot for them to contend with. And the reason that Sigler is still with us, they wanted to cancel it almost 45 minutes ago it's still sitting in those lanes we're going to watch and keep track of all these things accessing some different cameras to tell you the weather story as well i'll send it back to you ginger thank you so much uh, we continue to follow breaking news in the coachella valley where there's severe flooding in cathedral city this drone video showing just how bad it was overnight uh, from the businesses along highway 111 to residential neighborhoods blocks and blocks are covered in water the area is under a state of emergency but a tropical storm warning for the coachella valley was lifted overnight a huge mudslide is also covering interstate 10 near cathedral city freeway completely shut down in both directions between hug and lehman and bob hope drive while crews work to remove that debris storm caused a heavy flooding in the antelope valley the rain has ended but some intersections remain flooded gatelay's eric spillman is live in lancaster with more on that eric good morning Good morning, Jessica. Good morning, Frank and Hillary. I can tell you left uh, behind a whole lot of water in places where you wouldn't normally find it here. We're in East Lancaster this morning, and folks are having to navigate through streets like this. This one in particular has maybe a foot of water flowing through it, and we've seen other intersections with mud and debris and all kinds of gunk, and people are trying to get around this obstacle course as they get to work this morning. We've spoken to some of them as they were driving around here earlier. I noticed you don't have four-wheel drive, and you're, you're driving around on some flooded streets. I didn't know it was flooded at the time I drove up it. There was no signs when I turned. What do you think? Um, it's kind of scary, but I got to go to work. Are you surprised to see so much flooding on these roads? Yeah, especially in the desert here. Usually, uh, yeah, it usually doesn't happen too often here, so, but... <laughs> you guys enjoying it, too? Uh, we're having a good old time. <laughs> we sure are. Several intersections are flooded here this morning. Earlier, we were at the corner of 20th Street East and Avenue I. There's two feet of water standing in that intersection, enough to create a lake. People are driving on the wrong side of the street to avoid getting their car stuck in the water. Looks like one of the storm drains there just didn't do its job or it got clogged and backed up. You had a whole year's worth of rain falling in just one day thanks to Tropical Storm Hillary. And in many parts of Lancaster, all that water had nowhere to go. Let me show you another intersection on the west side of Lancaster. 
In that case, the water pushed a lot of mud.